Hi everyone, my name is Adam. This is going to be an intro to data agents for developers, building data agents with Llama Index and Llama Hub. So the goals for this presentation are going to be to familiarize developers on data agents with Llama Index, showcase simple and more complicated examples of data agents, and by the end of this presentation, you should understand how to create your own data agent with Llama Index and Llama Hub. So to start off, what exactly do we mean by a data agent? So data agents are large language model powered interfaces that can intelligently interact with APIs and data in a read and write fashion. So essentially allowing our large language models to call functions, call APIs, and interact with the world around it. Um, there's a number of limitations around just base level large language models that currently exist. Um, some of them that come up a lot include limited context windows, inability to complete logical or mathematical reasoning, finding knowledge past training cutoffs, etc. So with data agents, we can combine large language models and modern technologies to create even more powerful interfaces. A very simple example here is asking ChatGPT to evaluate something like a simple quadratic. So we can see that it goes through the reasoning, um, it tries to do all of these calculations, and it makes one big mistake here, which is calculating the cube of 0 0.06 um, way off, and subsequently our final answer of 33 is way off. Now, with a Llama Index Data Agent, we can provide it the Wolfram Alpha tool, and this is the exact same large language model, uh, ChatGPT 3.5. And instead of trying to walk through the math itself, we can see that the agent is just going to go ahead, pass the equation to evaluate to Wolfram Alpha, and we get the answer right back without having to do math. We end up using less tokens than having the large language model try to reason it out. And so you can see here that we've really extended the capabilities of what our large language model can do. Um, suddenly we're combining all of the functionality that Wolfram Alpha has to do math and science problems, and we're adding that into our large language model. So the idea with Llama Index is that it's going to be as easy as possible to build your own custom data agents that do these types of things. Um, the code below here, that's the entirety of the code needed to make a Wolfram Alpha data agent that answered that quadratic equation. Um, and we can walk through it. The code's pretty simple. We're importing a Wolfram Alpha tool from Llama Hub. We're opening it, we're importing a OpenAI agent abstraction from Llama Index. And all we really have to do is initialize that tool with our API key. And we can pass that tool directly to the OpenAI agent. And we're ready to chat with it. We're ready to ask it math questions. And we're combining that with the language capabilities of the large language model. Um, so you can see here, I have like the same notebook. We import OpenAI, we import our tools from Llama Index, and we can go right ahead and we can ask it to evaluate our math problem. And you can see here, this is the large language model, um, adding in the text capabilities to like the simple output that we get. Now, um, for a bit more complicated example, a bit more going on, uh, one of the limitations we talked about was news retrieval. So if we ask ChatGPT who won the NBA playoffs in 2023, get the generic knowledge cutoff answer, um, no access to real-time information. Now, luckily with Llama Index, we can give our agent access to real-time information. So when we ask a Llama Index agent with access to Wikipedia, who won the NBA playoffs in 2023, you can see we load some content and we get the answer that the Denver Nuggets won the 20 2023 NBA Finals. And that's the right answer. So the Wikipedia tool is letting the agent search and retrieve articles from Wikipedia. And one problem we have is that a, an entire Wikipedia page is often too large for a large language model to process. And so that's why we separated the previous example into two different function calls. So I'll walk through this a bit more, but the first function call was to load Wikipedia output. And then the second function call was to query that from a vector store. So here's the first function call that we made. We searched data for NBA playoffs 2023 winner. We loaded the content and we informed the agent that it can now search that information using read search data. And essentially what we've done is we've captured the output from 
searching Wikipedia, and we've stored all of those pages into a vector store. And now we can query that vector store essentially as a query engine, and we can ask it who won the NBA playoffs in 2023, and we'll get the output the Denver Nuggets won the 2023 NBA playoffs. Um, since the vector store has already been populated with context around the 2023 NBA playoffs, we can even ask follow up questions that the agent can answer, um, and we don't need to re uh, load the pages again. So you can see when we ask the agent who did they beat, uh, we directly get the answer without having to load those Wikipedia pages again. So we can come in, we can look at our example. Um, as I talked about in the slides, we are loading those Wikipedia and that load and search tool. Um, we're going to wrap our Wikipedia tool that's loading the data in the load and search tool. And the load and search tool is essentially what's setting up our vector store and our query engine. And it's separating that Wikipedia tool into two interfaces. And the cool thing about this is that any Llama hub tool can easily be wrapped with this load and search tool. And so it's super easy. You don't even have to think about this when you're building your tool. And it's very easy to handle tools with larger output. Um, so we can call it. And I have a bit of extra output coming here. So first we're doing search data, which is going to load the Wikipedia pages that are relevant to the NBA Playoffs 2023 winner. And then you can see these are the entire documents that I'm getting um, from Wikipedia. And this is clearly way too large to fit into a large language model. It would blow up the context window super quick. And so this doesn't get passed to the large language model. Instead, we get the content loaded that's stored into a vector store. And now the, the data agent can again read that data that we've searched for and ask it who won the NBA playoffs. We get the Denver Nuggets. And then this is our kind of follow-up question example. We don't have to load that data again. We can simply read it and we can realize that the Denver Nuggets beat the Los Angeles Lakers. So again, just looking at this code example, super straightforward. It's really just five lines of code again, and we're ready to chat, um, load all sorts of like recent events and current news from Wikipedia. So both of these examples go a long way in extending the capability of modern large language models. Um, you know, all of those limitations that we expressed at the start, we have solutions for them now. Um, and the nice thing is with Llama Index and Llama Hub, it's, it's five lines of code. It, agents can additionally use multiple tools at the same time. So we could have passed an array of larger tools. We could have given both Wolfram Alpha and the Wikipedia tools to an agent. And the agent can decide when to use which to tool. So Llama Hub currently offers over 30 tools and there's hundreds of data readers that are completely ready for your agent to use, just like I showed above. Um, they're all open source, so you can look at the code, you can develop your own, create custom tools, and contribute them back to Llama Hub. Next steps after this presentation, I encourage you to build your own custom data agents using Llama Hub tools. You can build your own tool and open source it on Llama Hub. I'd love to see your contributions. And finally, there's the Llama Hub Notebooks folder that has a ton more examples like this presentation that serve to remedy all sorts of problems with large language models and really bypass current limitations. Thanks for listening.